I do believe I have found a screwdriver handle that I seek. So, if I take the T10, which I have done, and put it in, they come out. Now, I'm going to again. No, I'm not. I'll. Uh, tormented me. Maybe I will just put them up here. So this 64 is definitely a different breed than others. It has a lot of dust and I know it has a much, much, much smaller circuit board. So, is there anything I can possibly do without a similar circuit board? I don't know. I know. I think I know. Um, this certainly will have a very different inside. I believe there will be one very big chip that has an awful lot of pins that replaces other things, and I don't know the whole ins and outs of it all. Okay. It, certainly, it certainly has a nice shield. Shield down with the other shields. Let's get ah! Don't worry, they're fine. All right, screw. And I think there should be. Ooh. Right. There we go. I do not like. Screws around inside. Yeah. So it has another shield on the bottom. I think I'm going to take that out because nothing is secure. Now I have some space because all the other shields just fell off here. I'll put that there. All right. So here, PCB assembly. 250. PCB number 252311 revision 3. Well, this certainly is a lot smaller. Way smaller. But it does all the same things, so they say. So this one is indeed, according to my checking of things. Five years ago, it was dead. I have no reason to think anything except that. Now, as I say, I really, I've got to have a close look at this to see. Whew. Certainly, have been combined. There's this big pin, 251715 That's one Here's an 8500. I wonder if that will go the same as the 65. Oh, sorry, 6510. 
I don't know. There is the video chip seems to look to be the same. So basically, this this machine would have been made in the era of when the 128 was out because they were. Um, they renamed some chips to 85s. For example, here's the 8580R5. Open. Oh, this board also has something on it to do with having this NTSC or PAL. I'm not sure I can see exactly what it has to do with it. Anyway, there is a 6526. It is not socketed. There's an 85 62R4. I think that's a video chip. I think, but most things are not socketed. And the 8580R5, I think, it is a SID chip. Let's. First, we're going to do Commodore. Variations. So this would have been made between, oh, just a short time. Sixteenth and the thirtieth week of 1986. Oh, imagine. And then I guess they made some switches. Huh. Alright, so we know that is Are they interchangeable? There's the pinout for the 6510. Oh, uh, let's see here. It says here, in 1985, Moss produced this 8500 H Moss version of the 6510. Other than the process modification, it is virtually identical to the N Moss version of the 6510. Right? Yes. 
year 85, originally designed for use of the modern I-64, the C-64C. However, in 1985, limited quantities of 8500s were found in NMOS Base 64. It finally made its official debut in 1987. Hmm. All right. 85, 62, 04. I'm pretty sure. Find this is the video chip. Yep, it is. It is. Um, well, that was helpful. It was. So, first, now, do I think I'm going to get this machine working? No, probably not. But we will try. We're going to yank out. With care, of course. Hard time. The such a oh, we're all charged. We don't need to be there. It seems that this chip, in its version that it is, wasn't made for very long. So either there was something wrong, or they just quickly found something else to make it better. Now, if there's any reason that I should not put this chip in here, please let me know. But of course, as this is recorded, <laughs> I've not had a whole lot of experience with these newer machines. So, the SID chip is in. We still have the test demo, not test demo, dead test cartridge in. And up it comes. So while that is doing that, I mean there's only there's only three things to check that I can check because everything else is not targeted. So the eighty five hundred. So we have out what we can have out. We do from this miniaturized newfangled thing of the ROMs. It looks like the only one of them survived. Maybe two of them have joined. So there are indeed two 6526 chips, of course. Okay, 
So, Sid works. I would really like to find something of these. Chips that fails, because it would be nice to be able to actually fix something. And I think with this case, because this is, I don't, oh, oh, come on, I don't know if I have any other boards like this. I will, if, even if I can't make this go, I think I'll leave it. finally get to it, whenever that is. That's, uh, I know what I, what chips I have here. Alright, so the video chip is coming out. The power is off. Please, you know what, as much as I would, I don't want this not to work, I, I would rather this chip didn't work. Please fail. Okay, works just fine. So, grand. Well, I guess I'm not going to get this one working. So, yes, it will go into the bin of dead things. So I'll put the shield back on. Um, I'll screw it back together. I have the screws and I have one here. And um, I'll put the original chips back in. Oh, wait. One second. Not that I think this is going to make any difference, but there is. Like on the other 64s, there's a small chip right by the video chip. Ooh, just, that is the 8701. Now, is this going to be difficult? Yeah, this is going to be difficult. This is another one of those where I really... Oh! Okay, it may not be difficult. I gently was applying the screwdriver. And it flew out. Now, do I think that this is bad? No, I don't. I do not. But, it's here. And it's socketed. in and it'll be just fine. Just dandy. Which is what I suspected. All right. At least I finally got into this machine, even though I cannot make it any better. But, at this juncture. So, we'll put the shield back on the bottom. Okay, 
screws are lining up. So, here we have a C64C. I'm going to have to take these chips back out, put them back in, put this aside for the other dead things. Thank you for coming. We will meet again. Bye for now.